Good morning, everyone. It's Superhero uh, Day here at, and during our Spirit Week. And as you can see, I've got my superhero costume on. I've got my headband on to hold all my great thoughts and my tea for being a teacher superhero. I've got my great big uh, box of ideas and imagination, big treasure box of uh, thoughts in there. I've got my superhero journal that keeps track of all the things I need to keep track of and uh, my pencils, which I'm really not using very much lately because everything's done online. So, of course, I have my uh, device that keeps me working, connecting with you. I hope you had a wonderful weekend with uh, lots of time to relax and do the things that you enjoy. Uh, maybe some planting, maybe some outdoor activities. And uh, if you participate in our Superhero Spirit Week Day today and you know how to throw a picture into the comments, go ahead and do that. Um, you may be wondering about uh, Friday's joke of the day, which was, why should you not tell a secret on a farm? Well, Ava got it correct. I'm not sure who else, but when I made this video, Ava had the correct answer. It's because potatoes have eyes. And when they have eyes, you can plant them. And uh, ears have, corn has ears. And that's the part that we eat, the cob of corn. That's called an ear of corn. So you're learning a little bit more about plants as we joke around. Um, today, I want to talk about uh, the importance of good ideas and not having too many. One of the skills that we like to do when we're in our classroom is brainstorm and we gather up everybody's idea and we put them all on a chart paper or in a document or whatever. Lots of great ideas. At that point, you want them all because none of them are too crazy. None of them are too out there. You want to gather them all up. That's what brainstorming is all about. So maybe you've done some brainstorming over the last few weeks and you have uh, have all these goals and plans and things that you'd like to accomplish during this time. And maybe you've started one and started another and done another and it's kind of like popcorn. And then you realize, oh, I can't keep up all those ideas. I just don't know what to do about it. Well, that's when you have to make some choices. What is it that you're going to focus on? And tomato plants are a great example of just that. You can see here in this plant, I have two separate plants growing right here. It looks like I dropped two seeds in the same spot. And I have two more over here that also have sprouted and are growing. This pot is not big enough to start four plants. It's not even big enough for two plants. So just like when you have a gazillion ideas and all the things that you want to do, you've got to choose one. You've got to choose one to focus on. Maybe they're all equally good. Like I would say all of these tomato plants look pretty decent. This one right here is a little bit smaller. So this is what I need to do. Pop, out it comes. That idea is not going to be one that I focus on. Over here, right this one this the little seed pot is still on the tip there so you know what that's not the one i'm going to choose to focus on now i've got two that are pretty much exactly the same height same size they're both doing well so how do i choose and this is where your preference comes in well which one grabs your attention which one are you going to do maybe you have to do an eeny meeny miny mo till you just pick one so i'm just going to go ahead and pull this one and that's three less tomato plants and you think oh no i won't have enough but the thing is only one can thrive in this pot only one can do really well if i keep them all none of them will do great but by keeping one choosing one then it can thrive, it will do well, and it pro will produce more fruit, more tomatoes than if I had kept all four together. So think about that as you're focusing on goals this week. What is it that you want to accomplish? Focus on that and do it really, really well. 
Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.